Welcome back from the mentor, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back with another box opening. Today, back to the old faithful 2022-23 uh, Series 1. Uh, gonna see how we can make it with this box. I got one more after this, too. And then I got a couple other boxes that are on the way that I think I got for a pretty good deal. Uh, this box is uh, Matty Beneers, Matt Boldy, a um, bunch of guys. Uh, not Series 2, which is like there's Sapkowski and everything else, but this is Series 1. So still some good names in it. Uh, Matt Boldy being my favorite out of them. Um, but yeah, we're going to turn the camera around, get right into it, uh, see what we can hit from this box. Uh, the last year before we went to the new setup, the Bedard setup, which is the you know three hits per pack uh, and all that other good stuff that we you know have come to seemingly love. Uh, I know I do. It's just nice to just more enjoyable rip. Um, more cards per pack, less ripping. You know, you're only getting you know more chance to get a cool insert. You get more inserts. Um, you know puts upper deck got to be more on their game when they when they, you know, put an insert in a, in a pack. I feel like the inserts have got better over the last year um, compared to some of them. So, see what we can get in this. It's looking for, uh, very hard to do, but looking for low number parallels, high gloss, uh, and or exclusives or clear cuts of uh, big rookies. That's what we're looking for. So, if I could pull a high gloss of Matt Boldy in here, I'd be very, very happy. Uh, Jacob Markstrom, Igor, we get Kent Johnson in the rookie portraits, Nadelkovic, feels like this came out forever ago, because it did, um, but literally the cup for 2022-23 just came out, you know, two weeks ago, so it's uh, it's crazy that how much time had passed between, you know, a series one coming out and then, you know, the the best product for those people. Uh, now everyone's like Bedard, 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 everything else. Uh, obviously, had Platinum just come out last week, um, you know, and then you know you're comparing that to the other one. So we got debut dates of Spencer Knight. Like his debut date was 2021, April 20th, 2021. We are in 2024, ladies and gentlemen. So and the cup for that player who made this debut back in 2021. Just came out, you know, September 2024. That's, that is something. Uh, TJ Oshi, Justin Falk, Wenberg, a canvas of Kasperi Kapanen, Mackenzie Weger, obviously now over on the Flames. Uh, Frank Kuz has retired now due to injury. Schmaltz and Timo Meyer has been traded. So Schmaltz is the only one that's still on his same team there. That's, uh, yeah. I understand they're trying to get autos and they're trying to do all this and it's backups and blah blah. Hopefully they're almost caught up now, but uh, yeah, it's just just kind of funny. Uh, Jack Eichel, Clayton Keller, and defense mechanisms. I remember when I first pulled this card, I was like, "Is this a short print?" It was not a short print, by the way. <laughs> it's a Drew Doughty. I'm pretty sure it's still over in a box somewhere, uh, in a sleeve and a top loader because I once again wasn't sure what it was. So. Uh, Connor McDavid, DeBrincat, Nico Dawes. Next canvas is Blake Coleman. I uh, put that in my insert pile. I didn't do it last show. Uh, I was really unorganized for the last show I set up. There's a vlog if you guys want to go check it out. Um, but uh, I didn't bring my value box. It's the first time in a long time I haven't brought a value box. I really wish I did. It, that's just, I kind of joke all the time. Uh, Nick Backstrom. He's been, uh, I think he's out, been out early, maybe since this game out too, um, with injuries and stuff. I don't think he played at all last year, did he? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, my value boxes of like inserts and stuff. Usually, like I said, I got them up for like 50 cents. Just all those inserts, just not a dollar, not two dollars, just 50 cents. Go go nuts. Go go digging through the four row box all day long. See what you can find. Uh, I joke around that is my best seller pretty much every show I'll make a hundred and some dollars off that every time just from people doing it so first young, young gun I do love this young gun uh, style so the Kings left winger Samuel Fajemo so he 
these seems to have a lot in the cup or maybe I just see a lot of them from all the breaks that I've been in or just watched uh, feels like he just comes out a ton uh, him and Brant Clark so uh, Joel Erickson Eck Mary Ferraro Chandler Stevenson Zuccarello and there we go Kent Johnson uh, I had a couple decent Kent Johnson cards from the cup actually from breaks uh, coming my way so hopefully they're here in the next week or so uh, but Kent Johnson obviously getting a little overshadowed now by you know Fantilli and you know a couple other guys over there but Kent Johnson's still a very very good player uh, see what he can do you know has the size and stuff you know at least the height you know over six feet tall he just kind of had to bulk up a bit uh, him and Dylan Gunther which is kind of funny they both come from this draft class um we're not going to put him up. We're going to leave the, the cup cards up there. But uh, backdrop is a couple guy, a couple cards of a couple guys that I think highly of. Uh, Timmy Stu in the renditions. We got Tavish, which I don't know how it took me so long. The only patch auto from the cup that he's got is his like uh, exquisite. He doesn't actually have uh, your true cup RPA. I have no. I've bought a lot of McTavish. I don't know why I just never clued into that. So I went looking through the checklist and I'm like, wait, he just doesn't have one. So anyways, that's technically his best, you know, true rookie uh, with his L24, uh, Jamie Drysdale, now over on the Flyers. But yeah, I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why. Could they not, like they couldn't get a jersey on him for him to put on and take off for five seconds? Um, was that the reason why? So it'd be like player worn? Like I, I have no idea. But, like, it's just, it's an odd thing that he doesn't have any. He's a guy's a top, was a third overall pick. It's not like he's, like, a sixth-round bum that it's like, oh, we're not sure if he's ever going to make the show. It's like, this guy's pretty good. Uh, debut dates of Tanner Janot. He's been on 13 teams since then. Uh, I think he's on the Kings now. I think I just saw that tonight. Uh, we're recording this. I'm recording this Monday night. So, yeah. I actually just opened up the... The box I probably had my best ROI on in a long time. And uh, if you can't tell by the gear I'm wearing right now, uh, this is California Redwoods lacrosse team shirt. And this is a, a Halifax Thunderbirds. It was a lacrosse box <laughs> for field lacrosse. And probably my best ROI I've had <laughs> in a while. Uh, crazy. Crazy that's how, how it works out in this world. Uh, Neil Pioink. And for the Blue Jackets, Carson Meyer. So, put him over there. Jonas Brodeen, uh, Dolan, and Robin Leonard. Uh, the gamble. Well, I don't know. I don't know what you can call Robin Leonard. We'll just, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, Anton Lindell. Kerfoot. Uh, New Hook. Uh, French variant of Lundell. So, there's our hit for that. Now, Colorado Avalanche. Carter Hart. Redacted, as some would say. So, nope, oh, nope. I'm trying to do, I don't know if you guys know. So the way I open up boxes a lot of times is I just kind of go across. So I will keep them the same level. So I'll do one row at a time. It's actually, actually a little bit like, you know, uh, split up in this one. We got a Dazzler. That looked a little weird. A Dazzler of, oh my guy, Matty Duchesne. I know it's weird to hear an Avalanche fan say, my guy, Matty Duchesne. One of the few that was like, hey, I understand. A lot of Az fans were kind of upset. Uh, they're like, well, he didn't want to be here. He had to hear his name in the presses for two years about how they're going to trade him. Eventually, you're just like, just trade me. I'm tired of having to answer questions every two seconds about, you know, if I'm getting traded or not. Like, it's got to be hard on a guy. Um, Dylan Strom, Tice Ekholm. Jeff Carter, and center retention of Braden Point. Just picked up a really nice Braden Point. It's on my eBay. Also, I just posted it, I guess, on my Instagram. Uh, if anybody's ever interested in PSA 10 Red Prism Optic Auto rookie of Braden Point. Donato, Yossi, Middlestat, now over on Colorado, JT Miller. Yeah, I just feel like the new boxes, I guess you're also getting a, a young gun in every second pack. 
instead of you know a young gun in every what would it be every four packs so it's just one of those things it's like you you feel like you're opening up a lot more you feel like you're getting a lot more hits uh forsberg Pareko, attacking zone <laughs> there you go uh my guy gabe landeskog in the attacking zone i don't know if i've ever pulled one of these he's not that easy of a hit uh so hopefully back this year we really 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 need him so attacking zone of gabe landeskog why do i think this was a metal insert for some reason The defense mechanism behind it of Mort Sider. It's a guy I'm never buying a high end card of again. It's just, I'm not doing it. I've had two. I've, I bought two that were like severely under comps before. Uh, and when I go to sell it, just can't sell it. And then I, first one I lost a little bit of on. The second one, the last one I only lost like 25 bucks on, but still not the best. Uh, Nico Dawes. So. Not buying any more more insider cards. I tried to sell it to everybody. And eventually I was like, nope, what up? It's not even worth my time. Sent it out to Slab Sharks. Uh, they're doing their thing now. I got paid for well, They got paid for it. Uh, I should get paid out for it here in the next, probably in the next day, or probably tomorrow uh, or the next day. Um, but yeah, just I'm just not doing it anymore. Can't do it. Uh, Lawson Kraus, next Young Gun. Stars, Frederick Carlstrom. He's been on Colorado since that picture. So, but yeah. Certain guys, you learn. I started doing more, trying to keep track of stuff a little better. This, this card always throws me off because of the black background. Um, Shane Gostabier, it feels like he's in a weird spot. Um, I've been trying to keep track of everything just so I can know what I was into for a card without having to go check and just kind of make it easier kind of doing like a spreadsheet kind of thing um trying to like again, just make it easier on myself to keep track of all the stuff best thing I've ever done best thing I've ever done uh to for the hobby like just to keep track of all my stuff uh we get a fresh style of Timo Meyer freestyles of Timo Meyer I think that said fresh styles I think it's like I think fresh Prince of Bel-Air logo Try why we got four packs left and i don't know i guess the attacking zone's a sweet hit because the attacking zone's probably does it say clear cut one in 288 packs yeah so that's, that's i don't remember hitting that though before i feel like i've opened i'm pretty sure i opened up a case of this uh nathan bastion Canadians, Jordan Harris, now been traded, right? He was part of the Line A trade, which now Line A's hurt, unfortunately, uh, after a really, really bad knee. Um, I don't know. Everyone will have their own opinions. Some people say, how dare, you know, Arbor Jack I go after that guy? No, no. Like, you, there's got to be some kind of, you know, you take out a player on a dirty play like that, whether you're meant to really take out his knee or what. Uh, whatever you want to say, you, you got to answer the bell. You got to answer the bell. You got to fight them. You got to do something. Call me barbaric, Carl. Call me whatever. You're grown men. This isn't like 12 year olds fighting. It's, you know, this is because you took out the star player. Uh, Travis Sanheim. Okay. Gold parallel of the fence mechanisms. These aren't numbered or anything. They're just, same thing, a little bit shorter printed. We'll get some some inserts, but his defense mechanism gold. Does it say? This is super interesting, I'm sure, for all of you. Yeah, he's probably like decent. But it's train of Sandheim, so it doesn't even matter. I don't know why I was looking at that that hard. Um we got what, one, two. Might still need two young guns, which isn't good because I was hoping for a parallel. And this would not give me a parallel young gun if that was the case. 
move the cards in the back. Vita Vancheck and for Colorado, Ben Myers. Once again, also no longer on the team. How many of these guys are actually on the team still? Ken Johnson is. These two aren't. No. I don't think so. Maybe Fajemo. So we may went, went two for two for six for our young guns that are still on their team. From a 2022-23 series one to now in 2024-25. Uh, getting ready for that. I think we just got a portrait. It's UC Saros. Nothing else good here. No Bedard inserts. No Bedard anything. I know it's not Bedard here. We did get Garnet Hathaway. We did get Garnet Hathaway. Uh, Connor McDavid. Wrong Connor. Nobody cares about this guy anymore. Connor McDavid. Nobody cares. If your name it doesn't start last name doesn't start with a B, nobody cares. So, uh, yeah, definitely. I think I get these boxes for like a decent price. I think they're like. 80 bucks ship tax everything maybe 90 bucks um, so pretty cheap overall still nowhere is near like I said, that's a cool piece for my pc uh, as an as fan ken johnson i like him uh i have to check it out maybe i'll send that off to get graded but not a ton of value in this whole thing um which is the problem with this set uh problem with a lot of boxes nowadays and like these is so hard to hit any kind of like parallel so before i used to get like oh we'll get an exclusive you know pretty much one per case or something like that not a chance anymore not a chance um they just printed so much of this stuff but it's still a fun rip um get doubled up on the kent johnson so um like i said we'll see what else happens i got one more box for sure uh and then i got a couple other different boxes coming i'm telling you right now i'm the price stinks. Maybe I'll go grab an older box of platinum, like a 2022, 23. Maybe I'll grab this year uh, a platinum again or something like that. Cause just, I think I got the itch for platinum. I don't, I, I opened up the one box of 2023, 24. I don't really feel like opening another one at that 400 and some box dollar mark. Um, just to put this out there, I had two friends that both opened up platinum also. One pulled a Luke Hughes uh, seismic gold auto and the Luke Hughes pond hockey. Uh, and another one pulled the Matthew Nye Seismic Gold non-auto. Or, uh, sorry, not Seismic Gold. Golden Treasures uh, non-auto. So, those are my friend's luck. This is my luck. Say hello to Ben Myers. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys haven't yet, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, check out the eBay store down below. I got to make some money back from this box. Uh, so, I have a bunch of cards on there. Uh, you can also always send me a message on Instagram if you're looking to do deals. Um, you know, I have no problem helping any, anyone out, you know, making a deal work that works for both of us um, and kind of go from there. So hope you guys like it. Check out all those things. Check out the card ladder link down below if you guys are looking to sign up for card ladder uh, and always get all your comps that go back once again, years and years and years, not just your two months or three months that your 130 point has. Uh, the amount of people I've seen at card shows and stuff that have overpaid for a card because um, they're like, oh, well, I didn't see what, couldn't find a last comp, but 40 bucks seemed like it made sense, or 80 bucks seemed like it made sense, and then really it's a $20 card from, you know, start of the summer that they just can't find a comp. Uh, you know, it, I see it all the time. Card ladder for the 15 bucks. If you're buying and selling a lot of cards, it's the best way to do it. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So hopefully you guys enjoy this, and for Eric from the bench, talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.